Cheats, by the way, when Renshang is from Henan. At one point, he was sick in bed, lying all day long, walking in with his show, kneeling under his bed to see him, very humble and polite. He was asked to go for a walk, and the show took his arm along the way, chatting about it as he walked. I walked for miles and said goodbye. When Sheng Sheng's feet are standing and he's going to give up, Xu Kai said, please walk again. I have one thing to ask you, some of us are under the jurisdiction of examination of malpractice, Mr. Wen said when asked what happened. The chief of cheating examination company is called Ghost of the Faint Stomach. Anyone who meets him for the first time shall, according to the old practice, cut a piece of meat from his thigh and give it to him. I want to beg you to tell us something. Give us a break. Wen Sheng asked, to his surprise. What crime could you inflict such a penalty for? Xu Kai replied, No offense. It's the old cheating rule. If you give the ghost a big gift, you can avoid it. But we are all too poor to give it. When Sheng Sheng said, I don't know that ghost. How can I help you? Hidenari said, Your predecessor was the great grandfather of His Majesty, and he should listen to you. They were talking about walking into a city to a government office. The house of Ji and is not very spacious. Only a hall is tall and large. There are two stone tablets under the hall, engraved with fighting letters and painted with green. One with filial piety, loyalty and one with courtesy and humiliation. The two men ascended the stone steps and a plaque hung above the lobby with the words examination for malpractice. On the pillars of the lobby is a cross of sculpted green characters, with the top line, yes, yes. Yes, 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 and the bottom line, staff sergeant, sergeant, corporal, consort of orchestra. The two men were not finished, and an official came out of the room. See the curly official hair, arched back, like a couple of hundred years old, with a pair of nostrils facing skyward, short lips rolled open, showing off fangs and teeth. One of the men in his entourage had a tiger's head. A dozen more lined up, most of them hideous, like mountain monsters. Xu Kai said to Wen Shengsheng, That's the ghost king. Wen Shengsheng was scared to death and returned to his home. But the king saw him and walked down the stairs, deferential, invited Wen into the lobby, and greeted his daily living. And Wen was terrified to say yes. The ghost king asked him, What's up here? When Sheng Sheng told Zhu Kai about begging himself, there is an old case, the monarch said, and I dare not obey my father's insinuation. When you're done, it's like ice cream. You can't listen to a love word. I can't tell you anything else. I'm just gonna stand up and say goodbye. The ghost king is sideways and sends him out the front door with respectful respect before returning. When Wen went out, he didn't go back. He sneaked in again to see what the king was up to. Down the hall, only the talent and several others were roped back, and a vicious man came over with a knife, first taking off his pants, then cutting a three-fingered slice of meat from his thigh. Shows in pain, shouting, shouting, when Sheng was young and angry. When I saw this scene, I was furious. I shouted, what a world. The ghost king was taken aback. Get up from your seat, stop cutting meat. Get up from your seat and greet you. Wen has gone out furiously, telling passersby about going to God to sue. He was mocked for saying, What a fool. Where do you go to God to complain? These ghosts are close to the king. They go to the king's house and report to him. Maybe it'll help point him in the direction. Wen Shengming hurried along the road and later came to the palace of Yan Wang, where he was sitting in the palace of Yan Wang, where the weather was so dignified. Mr. Wen knelt on the steps and shouted his grievance. Yin Wang called him to ask questions, and immediately, the ghost commander took the rope and carried a hammer to Ghostbusters. After a short time, the ghost king and Su were brought in together, and Yin Wang's acoustics told the truth about his life. And he was furious, berating the ghost king and saying, I pity you for reading hard all your life. So I put you on this task for the time being waiting for you to be born rich and rich. And now you dare to be so lawless. I'm going to strip you of your kindness and add your bad bones. And I'm going to make you an official in your life before a ghost bowed up. He knocked the ghost king to the ground and knocked out his front teeth. With a knife, 
Ghost King cuts his fingertips and pulls out a white, shiny, silk-like tendon as he howls in pain. It wasn't until he had drained the muscles on his hands and feet that two ghosts took him away. When Shengming Koto to Yen Wang and withdrew from Yen Wang Dian, Zhu followed, thanked Wen, took his arm and walked him across the street. When Sheng saw a family with a red curtain hanging from the door and a daughter behind it, half face and very gorgeous look. When Sheng Sheng asked, whose family is this? Shu Kai replied, this is a brothel. After he had passed away, when Sheng was so hung up on the woman that he insisted on not sending her back, Shu Kai said, how can I put up with you going home alone when you're here for me? When Sheng Sheng said goodbye, so Zhu had to leave. It took a good look to get away and hurried back into the brothel. The woman immediately came out to greet him, and she looked delighted. Inside, the woman sat Mr. Wen down and said each other's names. The woman gave her name as Liu and her nickname was Qiu Hua. An old woman comes out and prepares them for a meal. After drinking, the two slept and fell in love, and the Mountain League swore a vow of engagement. After dawn, the wife came in and said, there's no money for firewood and rice, so I'll have to break Frankie a few bucks. Suddenly, I remember being empty in my wallet, without my money, and in a state of shame, I didn't say a word. It took me a long time to say, I don't have any money, I'll write you down and pay you back as soon as I get back. The wife suddenly changed her face and said, have you heard of any prostitutes going out to collect debts? Liu Kihua also frowned, saying nothing. The man had to take off his jacket and use it as collateral. The wife took the clothes and sneered. This thing isn't enough to pay off the wine, he was so annoyed that he went into the room with the woman. I feel very shame about it. After another time, when Sheng Li still looked forward to the woman to come out and say goodbye to him, and then reiterated the engagement. After a long wait and silence, when Sheng Li went into a secretive inspection and saw that her wife and Liu Qihua had turned into bullheads from above the shoulders and their eyes flashed against each other. Shocked, Wen made a hasty return and escaped. He wants to go home, but there are so many forks that he doesn't know which way to go. Ask people on the street, don't know his village name. Mr. Wen's two days and two nights on the streets, poignancy and sadness, coupled with hunger, are a dilemma. Suddenly, the show just passed by and saw Wen Renshang and was surprised to say, how come you're so awkward yet you're not back? I'm sorry if I'm blushing. Shukai said, I see, you're not hooked on the night fork, are you? After that, Sukai walked furiously to the brothel, saying, why are the Kihua mothers and daughters so humiliating? After a while, Su brought her clothes to Wen and said, that groveling was rude. I've already scolded her. Su only sent Wen Shengsheng to his home before quitting. Wen died suddenly for three days. At this point, he woke up to speak of his innocence and remember it clearly. All right, this story has come to an end. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.